the nose, the root, the apex, the lateral walls, the dorsum nasi from the root to the apex, the external nares, the nasal bone, the lateral nasal cartilage, the major alar cartilage, also called the greater alar cartilage, that includes the lateral crust and the medial crust. The septal cartilage runs along the midline. The medial nasal wall is made up of the nasal septum, the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid, the vomer, and the nasal crest of the maxillae, and the palatine bones. The roof of the nasal cavity is made up of the nasal bone, the frontal bone, the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone, and the body of the sphenoid. Within the nasal cavity, we can see the vestibule, the lymen nasi, the azure nasi, the koana, plural koane, the conche of the nose, or the turbinates of the nose, include the inferior concha, which is the largest and is its own bone, and then the middle and superior concha. In some individuals, there may also exist a supreme concha. The middle, superior, and supreme concha are part of the ethmoid bone. Here we have the sphenoethmoid recess. An opening into the sphenoid sinus. Here we have the inferior meatus, the middle meatus, and then the superior meatus. On this side of the model we have the inferior meatus, the middle meatus, and the superior meatus. Here we have the ethmoid bulla. Here's the ostia. We're opening into the middle ethmoid cells. Here we have the uncinate process. The semilunar hiatus with opening of the anterior ethmoid air cell. The infundibulum of the ethmoid bone allows for drainage of the frontal sinus via the opening of the frontonasal duct. Frontal sinus, 